The growing that the war of words in eastern Ukraine could escalate into all-out conflict. The West is concerned that a false flag operation could be held in the Donbass region, which Russia could use as a pretext to invade. On Saturday, Ukraine's interior minister went to visit the front line between government troops and pro-Russia separatists. Our soldiers are keeping watch over any movements. After speaking to the troops, I can tell you that the enemy has no chance. Just minutes later, that confidence was put to the test. Despite a ceasefire in place, the government entourage found themselves in the middle of a shelling. A second round lands just 50 metres away from the interior minister. His security team throws him to the ground, with his bodyguard lying on top of him. He is then whisked away as rounds continue to rain down. An hour later, the experience has had an impact on the minister and brought to the front the struggles of day-to-day -day life for those in the Donbass region. Of course, I am a man. I am a civilian. I am not a soldier. I am shocked. And I know that the civilians who live here permanently feel this fear. This woman lives on the front line. As tensions between Russia and Ukraine and the West have heightened, she is spending increasingly more time in her underground bunker. After weeks of uncertainty, the stress of the situation is taking a toll on her. I don't have anywhere else to go. Where else can I escape to? Nowhere. Ukrainian soldiers continue to have a big presence on the ground. Some have been sent to collect projectiles fired by the separatists, who accuse government forces of also shelling. An uptick in bombardments now threatens the fragile ceasefire. Monitors for the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe said that almost 2,000 violations were reported on Saturday alone.